Fermenting can be kind of scary at first, so I wanted to give you a little video preview of what fermentation might look like in the first couple of days. If your fermentation doesn't take off in the first, you know, 6, 12 hours, that's fine. You don't have to worry about not seeing a whole lot of activity because, you know, you might expect it to take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours for the yeast to really start kicking in and doing their job. Um, Another thing that might change the variables of, of the fermentation that you see is de it depend it will depend on how much room you leave in the fermenter itself. So, you know, if you have a whole lot of space left, it has to fill up with more gas first before all of the air starts to come out through the um, through the blow off tube or through an airlock. So, it it might look like it's not doing a whole lot if there's a lot of headroom, but um, it's just filling up more space. So something to keep in mind as you work through your fermentation, because um, I know it can be a little bit scary at first, but you don't have to be intimidated. This is pretty cool. I just wanted to show you a quick picture the morning after, and uh, it's pretty active inside. So it's only been in here about six hours, but definitely very active. Hey, so I just wanted to give you um, a preview of fermentation now that we are uh, almost 12 hours in. Um, if you'll notice, the the volume um, of stuff in the fermenter looks like it's risen. It looks like, you know, it looks like it's almost full. And you can also see we've got some some junk getting in our tubes here. Um, and then you can also see these bubbles that are coming out um, into our sanitized solution. Um, and even there's some, some junk getting into that um, beyond bubbles. Um, I just wanted to point this out and uh, let you know that this is normal and it's exactly what this tube was intended to do. Um, if you had put the airlock on instead, um, we'd, uh, there'd probably be a big mess on our hands right now. Um, so, yep, this is what the blow-off tube is intended to do. Um, so don't be, don't be worried about this. Cool.